Welcome to a new Inventor Professional 2014 video tutorial now with new hardware equipment and new audio equipment so I hope the quality of the videos will be better than before. Let's start with a sketch on the XY plane. This should be a circle diameter 330 and these two points should be coincident. Then I need two construction lines. Maybe let's start here. Snap on this point and give it dimension which should be 80. Trim it and I want it to be symmetric so one way would be to make these two points horizontal aligned. Then I need two regular lines. Try to catch nothing by pressing the control key. Okay, then make it parallel and parallel and give it a dimension. 15 and align these two points yes and trim finish the sketch hide the dimensions because we don't need them and make an extrude, make it symmetric, make it 40. Change the view to shaded with edges. That's my preferred one. Then use shell, remove this face and this face and fifteen millimeters thickness. Now I want to use rip so Make another sketch on the same plane. I need just a line. Give it a dimension. Let's say 80. That's okay. Finish the sketch. Now I want to make a rib with this sketch. And I need this option parallel to sketch plane. Extend profile should be activated and I want to have it finite. Make it 5 here and 40 there. And you got this sort of rib. I will reuse the sketch. Go to the sketch, press right mouse button and make it share sketch. And again, with this sketch, another rip, sideways, 40, finite, 5, and change the direction, and OK. So now I want to make some fillets, because it's easier to do it right now. So I need a fillet here 
and here, which should be 25. Okay, and some fillets with 10. This should be 10, this should be 10, that should be 10, this edge and that edge. Okay, then I need another extrusion. So I go for another sketch, again on the XY plane slice the graphic. This button is available since 2013. Okay, make it 40. Finish the sketch and extrude it. Make it symmetric. Make it 60. Okay, now I noticed I need more fillets with 10. So I will try to move this fillet below that extrusion. Just pet drag and drop. So I move it right down here. And therefore I can now add, sorry, not with this one, it's the second fillet. Move it right here. Could add some more edges. Very easy. And OK. Now I will share that sketch. Press right mouse button, go to share sketch. And make an extrude, make it symmetric, and make it 20. And OK. So it would be nice to have the fillets here as well, so I, I will try to move this up here. All these moving around and shifting in the tree is possible because my sketches are always independent from the other sketches and the other um, already existing bodies. So let's move it right up here. And you see it works. Nice. Then I will hide this sketch. Press right mouse button. Go to visibility. And I will hide this one as well. OK. That looks nice. So I want to use another new feature in Inventor 2014, which is very useful. I make another 2D sketch on the XY plane, slice graphics, and there's a new tool in the sketch environment, which is slot. I will go for slot center point arc slot. That's very, very useful. In this case, snap on the origin. Then this should be 25.6 divided by 2. That's the radius. Then you get the starting angle, which I go for 12 and make it 24 and that's the radius make it 2.5 and you already got a slot 
which is fully defined. That's very, very nice. Finish the sketch. Maybe hide the dimensions and make an extrude. Make it through all in both directions and remove it. And the profile should be this one that's okay. Very nice. Then I need a circular pattern. And I want to pattern this extrusion. And the rotation axis should be the set axis. I want to have six of them with 360 degree and OK. Very nice. Then I need another sketch on this plane. Slice the graphics and again I will use the slot. Start right here and I want to have radius should be 70. And the arc should be, let's take a look, no, there is no arc, so I just will make it like this, and the radius should be 10, that's okay. which means the diameter is 20. And then I will align these two points vertically. That's OK. And give it a dimension from this point to that point, which should be 40. A little bit slow on the uptake. That's okay. I will finish the sketch because I just noticed that this one has to be that's the one I suppose. Yeah. Should be five. Let's go back to this sketch. And I want to have a circle with diameter should be twenty. Okay. Align it. Yep. Then give it a dimension. This is fifty. And then I need a fillet. And I could try to do it in 3D, but I think this will not work, so I will do it here. At least I try. Go to fillet and make it 5.
and this does not work so I have to use circles sad but true 10 and another one over here 10 make them tangent 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 and then trim and of course as always you lose some constraints <sighs> let's check what is missing I see that distance is missing and align these two okay finish the sketch make an extrude same as before through all symmetric and remove and okay and I need another circular pattern with this extrusion rotation axis should be again the set axis and I want to have only let's take a look only two and the angle should be 55 and okay then I want to mirror this pattern that's possible so in Inventor you can always pattern a pattern no problem pattern this one and the mirror plane should be this plane okay only one hole is missing so let's go for hole make it concentric on that plane with this reference and it should go through all and diameter should be let's make it 10 and I'm done hope you enjoyed the video and the new equipment see you next time Thank you.